The University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences is laying off dozens of employees. This comes after more than 250 people were let go just a few short years ago. The hospital says it's due to inflation, but some employees say they don't think that's the full story. We're glad you're joining us tonight at 10. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Bob has the evening off. Riley Birdwell spoke with a UAMS employee about the anxiety these layoffs can bring and has the response from the hospital. Riley? Laura, employees tell me that this is a feeling that they know all too well as it's coming just a few years after the 2018 layoffs at UAMS. The employee's identity has been concealed and their voice has also been distorted to protect their privacy. Now, I spoke with a UAMS spokesperson on the specific areas being impacted, and she says it will impact support services, administration, and service lines. You know, there's a lot going on right now, and we, we feel like we're being left out, and we're real scared right now. Fear strikes again for employees at UAMS after the hospital says they are laying off over 50 employees due to the effects of inflation. You know, it's been a challenging year for us uh, this year. We have um, had an operating loss, unfortunately. These layoffs coming just a few years after UAMS laid off more than 250 employees back in 2018. Employees tell me this stress and anxiety is something they know all too well. The department, you know, my team, we were all scared, terrified, and our first thought was it's happening again. In a statement given to our station by UAMS, they say they continue to look at ways to remain efficient, which means reorganizing some areas, meaning job duties previously assigned to some are now being picked up by another, and they aren't filling open positions as possible. In a video put out by the chancellor and the chief financial officer about a month ago, they claim their issues lie in the loss of revenue. Escalating labor costs, escalating supply costs, inflation, COVID, all of that has, has led to, um, to the financial situation. Employees say this impacts so many families as back to school begins for some next week and that they are left with many questions. Were they given severance packages? What kind of services were provided for them for their families? Um, could they be rehired if business picks up? UAMS says its Human Resources Department is providing one-on-one -on -one services to assist employees in finding other employment, whether that be in open positions at UAMS or externally. We need some answers here, and you know we don't need to be fearful that we'll have a job and be able to provide for our families, and that's. That's weighing on a lot of employees' hearts and minds right now. Employees tell me that this is the second layoff happening within the few years. And they fear this will be a continuing trend. Reporting in studio, I'm Riley Birdwell. Back to you.